In this video, we will add a text form field widget. So the purpose of the text form field is an input for the user to put some text inside. Then what we will do, we will use this input, we will convert it inside a text in the application and we will be able to trigger the information from the user into a text with a button. Let's start this. Okay, first of all, we can start to work inside our expanded maybe. I will remove the one with the row first. So let's found this one. So the row, I pretty like the color of the orange and purple. So orange, orange, purple, and so we'll change the color because I found it pretty nice. I will add orange and this one will be purple. Good. So we will have our text form field in the middle, a button on the top and the text input on the bottom. Uh, the, the text form field will be in the middle, sorry. Okay, let's start this with the expanded orange. Inside, we will add the argument child. And in this one, we will add the famous text form field, like that. Good. After, what we can do, we will need to create, uh, if we go inside control space, we have a controller. And this controller, will let us get the information from the user and display it inside the screen. So to create a controller, we need a text editing controller. Let's create one. Before the build, so before the override, we will say um, a text editing controller. And this one will be called the, tech, the controller, just simple as that and it would be equal to a text editing controller declared like this with the parentheses. Perfect. Next step will be to call this controller inside our controller. So we will say controller. Now we have access of the, inform of the input of the user. I will format document. I will put this bar on the side so we can see better. Now, as you can see, we can add text inside this. Okay, next step will be to uh, add a button. So inside the purple one, we can add as well another child in the container, child argument, and we can use a material button this time. Okay, we select this one. We have the unpress, like the raise it button. So we put an empty function for now. And then we will say uh, inside the child, the child will be a text like this, and it will be a display value. I will format document, and here we go. This is a button, and the button is all this place. What we can do, we can uh, put the expanded everywhere on the side. To do that, we will need to put a width of the container. So we take the container that is over the material button, we add a width, and this is the best time to introduce the double dot infinity. And this means to take as much place as you can. Here we go. So we have our button display value. We have our text form field right here. So what I will do, I will uh, take my text form field and I will put some padding inside my container. So the padding is an argument. So I say padding, and then I can use the edge and sets dot all. After we can put by example, 10, I will format document. And now we can see that our bar is a little bit more in the center. Okay, next we can change the color of the display value. This color will need to be changed inside the text widget right here. We can put a comma. We can press control space to add. So right now this one is not easy to understand, but as you can see, we have a style and the style is a text style. And it is in this one that we will be able to change the color because we don't have the color argument. So we will need to use the argument style 
Oops, style. This one. And inside we will use the text style. And how I know it is text style, you just go over and it is text style. Perfect. So take this one and inside text style, we will have the color argument. So we can say colors dot white. Here we go. I will format document. And uh, this is the best time to introduce something else as well. And it is to change the height, the, the size of the text. So inside the text style, we can add a comma format document and we can add another argument. This one will be the text style. Oh, I will show you all argument first. You have the font family, the font size, the font weight. If you want something to be bold, uh, you have a lot of font uh, different things. So we will use the font size. I will put 35 and now we can see this way bigger. So we will display the value that the user input inside the text field when we press on it. Okay, so first we need a set state. To have access of the set state, we will need to change this to be a state full widget. So I right click on it, refactor, convert to state full widget. Okay, now we can use the set state like this. And what we can do is we will need to create a variable that will display the text right here. So let's create a variable uh, right over the override right here after the text editing controller. We will add a string, so a text value. This one will be the user input, by example, and it will be equal to uh, nothing when we start. So it will be displayed right here. And when we will change it, we will change it for the user input. So inside the third expanded, so the pink one, we will add a child argument. Oops child argument inside we will add the text so what we can do we can just copy the text widget from the purple one let's do that i will copy all this text so you press on the parenthesis and you take all of it you can copy that and paste it inside the child of the pink so here we go just be sure to have all the bracket and it will be perfect. I will format document. If you remember to have the size, the width, you can add inside the container of this text, the width argument with the double dot infinity. Here we go. That's good. So now we have our display value. We can put it in the center with the widget that we have already learned with refactor wrap with a center. Here we go. And now we will need to change the text value for the uh, variable that we have created, this one, the user input. Let's do that. User input, that's good. So it is nothing right now, but we will go inside the, uh, the trigger of the button right here inside the set state, and now, the last thing we need to do is, okay, we will say user input is equal to there. This is where the magic happened. We use the controller dot text and that's it. Now, as you can see, if we press the display button, nothing will appear. And if I say, hello, pizzeria, and I press on it, we have the Hello Pizzeria. So this is a very useful thing because in application, we we always use text form fill or quite always. <laughs> so this is very useful to use. And see you in the next one. So see you in the next one. Bye.